have thick hair and also if you have thick curly hair, this is the video for you if you want to know how to get your hair straight and for it to stay straight for about a week, which I think is pretty good because um, if I could have my hair straight for a week and there not be any problems, life is good. Okay, so step one is shampooing your hair. Um, just use any shampoo that you usually use. And then step two is a conditioner. If my hair is curly and it's had a lot of products in it that day or it's been feeling dry, I'll either, if it's not, I'll put a regular conditioner. But if it is like that, then I'll put a nice, like, intense conditioner or some kind of leave-in conditioner and leave it in for, like, 35 minutes and then I'll rinse it out. Then I get out of the shower and some people say that you shouldn't towel dry your hair, but I do just a little bit so that it can get damp. And then I'll either put in, here's two products that I'll either use. I'll either use um, Living Proof's Straight Making um, No Frizz Styling Treatment for thick to coarse hair because I do have really thick hair. And basically you just put it on from roots to ends and you can do a quarter size for thick hair and then you blow dry. And, or um, I just started using this and actually I kind of like this one better. I heard a lot of reviews on it and this one is Satin Wear 02 Redkin's Ultimate Blow Dry Lotion. And this stuff smells really good. Let me see. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a subtle scent and um, you just, same, same application as that, you put like a quarter sized amount and then you just go ahead and you blow dry your hair. So what I used to blow dry my hair I used to never blow dry my hair and actually have to go run and get the brush. So to blow dry my hair, I used to never blow dry my hair um, when it was longer and I had the layers. I would just get out of the shower, wait for it to dry up a little bit, and then I would go ahead and um, just flat iron it. But now that it's shorter, it's easier to blow dry, I think. So what I use is Umberto's um, large forehead round brush. And this works fantastic. I just take the hair and I would just go like this and then take the blow dryer, and I'll show you the blow dryer, and just pull it down, and it really helps to give it, if you want to curve it inwards, or if you wanted to flick it outwards, it's really good at pulling on your hair to get it nice and straight, and also, because of the bristles, it makes your hair really shiny. So this is what I use in conjunction with my blow dryer. This is the Remington Supersonic, I think it's, I, like, hmm, I don't know. Ionic one. Hmm. Anyways, it has this really nice nozzle on it, which makes it easier to just point at where you want it. And what I would do is I would take this. Let me show you. It has different settings. This is really old. Like when I go to the salon now, I'll use probably like the chi. Excuse me, the chi blow dryer, and that makes it really, really straight faster. But this is, I think, 1875 watts, and it still works fine. So I just use this. And I go like this, right? And I just pull down, pull down, pull down, pull down, blow dry, okay? So that's what I use. And this nozzle, if you can get a nozzle like this, it works much better than if you were just trying to blow your hair like this because this is going to go everywhere. This helps you point it to where you need to blow dry. Okay. So after I've applied this and, and blow dried my hair, then it's on to flat ironing. Because for me, yes, my hair will be straight when I blow dry it, but it'll be like out to here, you know, because my hair is thick. So after I do that, this is my favorite, 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 favorite. This is my lifesaver. It is the Chi One Inch uh, Flat Iron. And I know there's a lot of different flat irons out there, and I probably, if I could, I would buy a, a bigger one, maybe like a one and a half inch but I got this as a gift and I've used it and it hasn't died out or anything. I think I've had this for like f four or five years now and it works great. You just heat it up and you just flat iron. And to flat iron, they always suggest that you use a good thermal protector for your hair. That way you're not burning your hair because I think this goes up to like three to four hundred degrees. So I spray this on. This is Chi Iron Guard 44 the Thermal Protector and you just spray it. Um, usually what I'll do is I'll section off my hair like this. Like I'll go back and I'll take my ends and I'll spray some of that and then I flat iron each section and I keep bringing sections down. Um, and I'll go with the flat iron to do that. But <clears throat> first I put this on and then if I really want to smooth it out like 
I'll start off with just this and this, and then say it's the second day and I just want to go over, I'll use Paul either Paul Mitchell's Smoothing um, skinny, Super Skinny Serum. This stuff smells like watermelon. It smells fantastic. And I'll just put a little dime size and just apply it all over. And it also makes your hair really shiny, too, if you want it to look shiny but not greasy. And then it just helps to get my hair as, um, as straight as possible. Or I'll use um, the Cheese um, Silk Infusion Serum. I don't have it right now. I ran out, so I've been using the Paul Mitchell. But either one works really good. Um, I've noticed that if you try to use the products like with the Chi, if you use the Chi Iron Guard and then you use the Chi Silk Serum, because it's like the same brand, it works really effectively. But since I ran out, I'm using the Paul Mitchell Serum and it's still working really, really good. And my hair smells like watermelon, so that's great. Um, so I'll apply that and then I'll just go and I'll section it off like this. And usually I'll take a comb, a fine tooth comb or rat ale comb and I'll just go down and straighten it like this, take piece by piece and I'll section it off and do that. It's been a really good experience using these products. Um, I really recommend the Chi products to use and I really do recommend this Redken Satin Wear. It's made my um, the straightening process a lot easier with the blow drying as well. And then this brush, if you can find a round forehead brush and you have thick hair, whether it's a small brush, I think I want to go back and buy the small brush. This one was $10 at Target, um, but it's wonderful. If you can find a forehead brush, whether it's the Chi forehead brush or any brand that looks really good and it's going to be really good for your hair, I recommend buying it. Um, so this one was $10, but they had it on sale for 7 Sometimes they have it on sale for 5 depending on when you get it. This glossing spray, I think it's about 3 to $4, and I got it. You can get it at any drugstore. The satin wear was 4 I want to say, four, th either 3 or 4 and I bought it at Ulta, um, along with the Paul Mitchell Skinny Serum, Super Skinny Serum. This one was $5, but they have bigger bottles for like, 14 to 16 dollars. Um, the Living Proof, I think this is the most expensive one. I bought it when it just came out, so it was 24. Um, I want to say this is always between like 80 to 100 dollars. They have like the Ultra Chi, they have different styles. They have one where you can actually choose the heat setting, which I might want to save up and get that, but I mean, I already have this one and it works. If it stops working, then I'll probably get that. And then finally, if I have flyaways because my hair is shorter now, there's like these little baby hairs that go crazy. Um, I'll just apply a little bit of this. This is uh, John Frieda Frizz E Secret Weapon, and it's just a finishing cream. So I just take a little dab of that and just apply it on the little hairs that are going crazy, and then I'm good. So basically, um, straightening my hair used to take a long time, but now that I've had these products and um, I practiced, it's been much easier for me to do. And I think that for those of you that might be frustrated about straightening your thick hair, just, you know, try, try again. Practice will make it better because I used to hate straightening my hair. I would have my mom do it for me. I would go pay $20 at the salon to go get it done. But now I've just practiced and this, these tools have made it so much more efficient that it only takes about 45 to an hour at most. But I really do like these products. I like the way they smell. They don't leave my hair flaking or anything like that. They're really good and um, hopefully they'll work for you too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll do, once my hair's curly again, I'll do um, a video about how I make my hair curly. And um, there's gonna be a lot more videos to come for this year, I hope that you enjoyed it, and thank you for subscribing and watching my videos. Bye!